I'm having a good time in Vegas. I'm looking around all these beautiful women. I'm, I'm loving it. I called my woman at home. I was like, baby, these women are beautiful. You know what they say? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. She said, whatever. <laughs> she said, what happened in Vegas will get you punched in the mouth in Chicago. <laughs> I got me a special woman, I got me a thug. We don't sleep spooned up, we sleep like this because we got each other's back all night. And I love my thug, I said, my woman is such a thug, man. When she got in a fight at, a, at an amusement park that's been called the happiest place on earth. We was, I was shooting the gun, you know, you shoot the gun and a little target move over, I was shooting the gun, my son was shooting the gun, three, three guns down. I could feel something going on on the side of my head. I turned over, my woman's head is doing this. Now, I don't know if you've ever been with a black and Latin woman, but if her head is doing that, something is about to happen. <laughs> so I dropped my gun and started taking off there, and I could hear the other woman call my woman out her name. That's when the B card was played. The word just came out, beep. And as soon as it came out, everything went into matrix mode except my woman. <laughs> she said, beep. I said, no, you did it. <laughs> And I love my girl, I do. When I first met her, I thought she was a dude. Oh! <laughs> not my fault, not my fault. Back in the day, everybody was wearing the baggy stuff. Remember baggy jeans and, and sweatshirt? She had a hat tip backwards. I walked up, I had my glasses on, I was like, man, that's a pretty dude right there. <laughs> I am really attracted to this guy right here. But I got the door. I got the door, man, and I fell in I love with him. We got to that point, fellas. We got to that point in the relationship where you consummate your love as man and woman. I got a home, man, and if you ever got the woman undressed and oh god, what you? Oh god! You get a woman undressed and you surprised at how good she looked underneath. The girl was so bad. I sat at the edge of the bed like sling blade. I was like, you the finest woman I ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the girl was so fine, I turned into Herman Munster. I said, <laughs> That's my time, man. So, see. My brother, my brother. People are out of breath. Some asthmatics are going crazy right now. I'm gonna let y'all settle down. That was crazy. But let's go to the judges, Kim Whitley. I, I, it's all, it's, it's, I can't do no. You got a 54. I'm done. Which one you want to give me? The five, the whatever. <laughs> he done, oh, a little pee came out, a little pee came out. Oh. 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 oh okay. What's up? All right, Ray J. Yeah, you know, enough said, man. Five all the way, dude. Yeah. You got it. Come on, homie. We ain't uh, playing. That's what's up. All the way. <laughs> Lisa Ray, your thoughts? Uh, you know what? You hilarious. You are so funny. I mean, and it's hard to make me laugh, so you, yes, you it got is. this. Right? There it yeah. is. <laughs> Alex. Yeah. Right now, you got 15 points. You know the show. You've been here before. You have an opportunity to take that up to the next level if you want to. But you got to roll the dice with the 100 if that's what you want to do. I'm right? in Vegas, baby. Let's gamble. Let's do it. All right. Who's got jokes 100? You know the deal. Let's go. <laughs> One more time for Alex Ortiz, everybody. So 17 points. You will see that man in the... Beautiful Chanel, come on over, Chanel. baby. Chanel. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Ellis Ortiz has chosen silver case number eight. He has to do political humor. Love my country. I love being American. I'm a very proud person. Let me tell you something. I've never been more proud of my country because for the first time in the history of our country, we elected somebody not because of the color of their skin, but for the job they could do. And I think that makes us grown up as a people. I do. And say what you will about George Bush. George Bush did more to end racism in this country than any other president. 
George Bush did such a bad job, there was white dudes at Ku Klux Klan meetings going, we need to give that nigger a chance. <laughs> when you go out in the country that you have the same rights you do here, that you have those inalien, inalien and you know, those rights we got. <laughs> that is not true. Let me tell you something. I was in Germany and I got put off the plane for telling a joke. Apparently in Germany, they got a weird sense of humor. I was on the plane, the plane was an hour and a half late. They pulled out the gate, sat on the tarmac for 45 minutes. The pilot came over and said, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. There seems to be a problem with one of the engines. We're gonna have a mechanic come out and take a look at it. And I'm thinking, uh-uh. You, you just told me that's a problem with one of these engines. You got to go get me a whole new plane. Because the only mechanic I know is a little Mexican dude named Pepe. And all I can picture was Pepe standing by the engine with a flashlight and a screwdriver going, Try it now, puto! Give me gas! Give me gas! So I got put off the plane because this little Borgermeister looking chick took me right off the plane, told me I wanted to get back on the plane. I started to lose my mind. Right up until those two German soldiers set up the machine guns, I was a bad, right up until that point, I was like, what? You don't know me? I'll whoop your ass, your ass? Ooh. I was joking. <laughs> That's my time of my show, too. Way to go, Alex. Oh, Alex, I don't know how you do it, man. You got a lot of talent, bro. That was hard. That was very hard. We threw you a curveball. Kim Whitley, what are your thoughts? The man is free. He's free. He's not, you know, intimidated. I give you a fun. Uh, Ray J. <laughs> Like I said, man, you funny. When you come out, your expressions is already funny, but for you to be able to deliver it alongside of your characteristics is great, man. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I, I, oh, you're so deep. <laughs> oh, how you know that, Kim? Ooh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Ladies, can we continue, please? Yeah. Oh, you crazy. I'll give you a five. <laughs> Lisa Ray, your thoughts? I love the way, you know what, you would never have made me believe that you did not know what the first thing was gonna come out of your mouth. Yeah. I mean, you was like, Phew. that commitment is deserving. There it is. <laughs> Alex, for perfect performance before you leave, you gotta get some blessings from the croupier of comedy, Tommy. Absolutely. You know, Alex, I am the Pope of comedy, and you cannot use profanity, and you use the A word. And it just so happened that you are my favorite comedian, but I've got to do my job. I have to take away one thing. All right, well, right now you have a score of 14. Let Alex Ortiz know how much you love this performance, everybody. Great job, baby. Okay.